Good Monday morning to you. Hello, hello, and welcome. I hope that you had a pleasant weekend, uh, whether you were, uh, whether it was a bit of a rainy one and you were inside decluttering or sleeping, and that's okay too, or uh, out, outside enjoying some sunshine. I hope that you had a pleasant weekend and welcome to a brand new week. I am Kitty Anders with DeclutterTheBrain.com and I help my official tagline is that I help six-figure entrepreneurs and C-suite executives to organize their space and streamline their thoughts so that they can uh, maximize their productivity. In plain language, that means I help entrepreneurs to uh, declutter their space and their brain so they can be profitably productive. All right, and if no, don't let the six figure throw you off. If you're not six figure yet, I can get you there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. And I have started and helped people start and start careers just because they got decluttered. I'm not kidding you. It causes a major. Uh, it causes. A major shift, but it can be imperceptible. People just start to change. A lot of my clients have been with me for three years. Why? Because we keep finding new things to declutter, whether it's our health, our habits, our, um, what are the other pillars? He um, home, health, habits, heart, and head. Hence, declutter the brain. All right, that's enough of that for now. Uh, let's jump right into the content, shall we? Uh, this week we are talking about, are you a decluttering help or hindrance? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Now it's all very well and nice when well-meaning people, they want to help us with our, with our decluttering and God bless them for it. Really, really true. But sometimes it can cause more harm than good. You know, uh, Many times, and this this is one of my favorite pieces, is because uh, all of this week is based on client stories. All right, I won't be mentioning names, but they um, these are these are stories that my clients have report have have um, have reported. You know, perhaps it's the way something is said to them. Um, you don't want somebody ordering you around or being judgmental for you or bossing you or rushing you. Uh, now, in my, in my own experience, when I was, uh, after my father passed and I was, had to um, uh, empty his apartment, I had two, two different um, entities helping me. One was a very, very nice lady, but uh, I felt like I was being bossed around a little bit. Um, and I, she didn't realize that. And then I realized that it was how I was, how I was taking it. I was stressed and uh, sometimes you have to look at how you're reacting to something. And then my, the people in the the building managers, they helped uh, immeasurably. They just said, "Tell us what you need," and God bless them. They took things to to the storage unit for me. They uh, took things away. It was wonderful. So this week we are looking at basically how you can help people to declutter what what to say or not to say, and um, just little behavior shifts that will make their life easier, make your life easier. At the end of the day, it's all about you, right? <laughs> Don't forget that whenever there is clutter, it has usually resulted from some sort of trauma. Now that trauma could have happened when they were, when they were a kid and uh, they've just never gotten over it. Um, or it could result from a divorce, uh, recent or otherwise, a death in the family, a birth in the family, anything like that. Don't forget that the, there is always a reason for the clutter. Sometimes the reason for the physical clutter is the mental clutter, for heaven's sake. Yes. Oh, absolutely. I believe that the two of them are so closely entwined, you can't tear them apart. Anyway, clutter, there's no doubt about it. Clutter makes it harder to, more difficult to uh, to heal 
from any of this traumas. And I know that you want to help these people. And if you are one of the clutterers, then you can um, watch, the, watch this week and you'll be able to suggest ways to your friends that want to help you. All right, uh, tomorrow we are going to talk about, the, uh, the title is Listen Up. In the interim, scroll down, download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. If you already have this publication, you can get one for a friend, but don't forget to book a call with me. Just a quick and free call and we will look at your clutter and see if we are a fit to get it done. Finally, for once, finally done uh, faster than you ever thought possible because I've got a program that's um, called the Turbo 15. You want to know more about that program. It's reasonably, it's a reasonable investment and you, boy, you can move mountains with this and stay decluttered for life. Till tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.